Hello everyone. Welcome to my lesson on trig. In this lesson, we will see how to find the trig values of an angle in the fourth quadrant. Instead of using a positive angle such as 330 degrees, let's try a negative angle. A negative angle is measured clockwise from the x-axis. Ready? Here we go. Negative 360, negative 390. There's the angle. Let's move this picture to the side to make room for the answers. The next steps are the same as before. Once we get the angle, we drop a perpendicular line down to the x-axis. We see that this triangle is the 30-60 degree right triangle. We all know by now that the shortest side is 1, that's opposite the 30 degree angle. The hypotenuse is 2. And the adjacent side here is square root 3. The next step is important. We insert the signs of the coordinates. In this case, the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. Now we're all set to find the trig values. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we get negative 1 over 2. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's square root 3 over 2. Tangent is either the sine over the cosine or we could use opposite over adjacent. That gives negative 1 over square root 3. Flip the tangent over, we get the cotangent. That's negative square root 3. Turn the cosine upside down, we get the secant. So secant is 2 over square root 3. And finally, cosecant is 1 over the sine. We get negative 2. We can see from this example that the cosine is always going to be positive in the fourth quadrant. 